Where are you, in, in the room? Yeah, I'm inside the dark oak house with the skylight. So anyway, this is um, Teacher Vance. I'm in here in Minecraft, EVO Minecraft MOOC server. I'm here in Penang, Penang Malaysia with uh, somebody. Oh, somebody just came in. Who's that? Bobby Bear. Bobby Bear just came in. Okay. So let me show you where we are on the map as I usually do. So if I just, uh, we're, we're, let's see, let's, let's go, let's start over here at the pyramid, the spawn point. This is the spawn point on our server. And if you go to the pyramid, you keep going east into the rising sun. You come to this very interesting uh, pyramid that's being dug out from the ocean. What they do is they put they, they glass off um, an area of the water and then they using script and then they uh, fill inside with sand to get rid of the water and then they remove the sand leaving the pyramid and uh, Ari has been building it um, so if we come over east from there um, we if you just came over east from there and you landed somewhere in here, you would, I think we, we did this once we came up this river, but apparently there's, if you look at the top down map, let's see if I can get the top down map. Here we go, top down map uh, shows you that you can't actually get over here. The river has no mouth. So uh, if you, probably the best thing to do from, and also this is now east. So if you're coming from uh, that hole in the ocean, and you wanted to get here, uh, well, you could film, you could land on any of these beaches and then uh, keep going east through the forest and you'd reach this meadow here. That's where we are right now. And that's where, uh, where Olive Tree has set up a, a very nice place for introducing newcomers to the server. So what we've done, we went hiking up in the mountains and we came down to the coast. Actually we checked this map right here and we found that there's a village on the coast. And Bobby has a goal. What's your goal, Bobby? I want to get a cat. She wants to get a cat. That's right. So she's to get a cat we have to go fishing and uh, meanwhile also we found a uh, a shipwreck here which is on its side and which had I think actually I got this I'm wearing a a gold vest which I got from a chest in the marsh over here and this gold vest has the curse of binding on it which uh, I didn't really realize until after I'd put it on so I'm gonna have a little trouble getting it off I believe we found that vest over here somewhere here it is there's a there's a an unfinished portal, another portal there. So over there, uh, I think that's where he got the gold vest. And um, so it's a good idea to mouse over and check things before you put them on. But anyway, I lost it in the in the the shipwreck there, the shipwreck. I lost the vest and uh, barely retrieved my stuff, including the vest, and then I guess distracted, I put the vest on instead of my normal breastplate. So anyhow, so we're going to go there. We've made a little path through the forest, and we're gonna take that path, and then we're gonna go look at the village, and then we're going to go up into the hills here. There's a pumpkin patch over here, and beyond the pumpkin patch, we've built this shelter here. Uh, this area has not been rendered lately. Uh, Zidka was explaining to me why that is. But anyway, we can go there. We've put a, we've put a structure up here, uh, a glass structure, which you can see. And then Bobby's going to take us and show us where she's found some llamas. So we're going to do all of that in this video. So first of all, we're going to show you what Olive Tree has set up. Then we're going to go down the path that we set from uh, from Olive Tree's Meadow, this beautiful little meadow here. So 
getting back to the game, what we need to do is we need to go to sleep to make it daylight, as we usually do. Want to do that, Bobby? Yeah, sure. You want okay. me to sleep? Yeah. Okay. Go to sleep. And uh, that should make it daylight. We'll know it's daylight when this clock here turns to six. There we go. Six o'clock in the morning. It's daylight. Bobby likes to go straight out and go looking for things to kill. Well, monsters, you know, things that would kill us otherwise. Okay. Oh, there we go. So, um, Olive Tree has a couple of shelters here. She has a little farm with lots of things that you might want to look at in the boxes. She's growing beetroot and wheat. And I think she uses this kind of as a training area for people that she meets. There's a mulch box here, which is useful for m making bone meal. And uh, over here there's some cane, which you can trade with the villagers to get paper. And I think up here there's a, a corral with sheep in it. Or there used to be one here. Where is it? sheep corral. Is it gone? I don't know. Oh, hmm, I don't see it up here. Unless it's over here. Maybe it's over here. There, I think maybe. That's it, okay. There's a corral which doesn't have any sheep. So I think she moved it over here and it's got some cows in it. Okay. Oh, That's there's a bone. bone. Go get it. Go get the bone. <laughs> Bobby likes to get bones. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we do with bones? Well, we can use the bones to make meal, which uh, the bone meal. And what you do with bone meal is you add it to, if you plant something, you can add the, the bone to it. Oh, there's a sheep. Here, let me That's go get some. Sheep. Yeah. Oh, here comes the, the yak man, the llama man. Let me see, I'll just... But we're going to see some wild llamas. They're even cuter. Yeah, that's right. So I'm just going to grab some wool here. I got two pieces of wool. Okay, so that's how you get wool. You use shears. And um, so here's Mr. Llama Man. And he just wanders around, and he's kind of one of the local characters here. That he, he just appears wherever you are, it seems. I'm not sure what we can do with Mr. Llama Man. Oh, you can trade with him, apparently. Let me see if, I, if he'll want to trade something. I think he, he takes emeralds for things that he has. Okay. Oh, for emeralds, you can buy lots of items. If you have one or two emeralds, you can get some glowstone. Could be nice. Eh, a pumpkin, but you can find those everywhere. Cyan dye and gunpowder. Vines. Okay. All right. No, thank you. Not today. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm not in the market right now. Okay. So, um, well, it's nine in the morning. So what we're going to do, we, we left Olive Tree a little gift the last time we were here. We created a trail all the way from... Olive Tree's place up to our place, up to the village. So let's see if we can scurry on over there, where there's a torch marking the trail, and also a sign. Okay, so let me put the, it's, it's kind of dark in there, so I left a sign here. The sign says, a way to shipwreck city. I showed you the shipwreck a minute ago, uh, from Bobby Bear and Teacher V. So I haven't heard from Olive Tree yet as to whether she's found that, although she was online a moment ago, a little bit earlier. Okay, so we're going through a walk in the forest here, and uh, I'll just move the map around as we, as we get off the map. But you can see now that we're just walking into the forest, and we've made the trail using shovel, and using the map, we had to use the top-down view of the map to get around obstacles, to find the obstacles, but, and to find the shortest routes. <coughs> but I think if, you, if you're going to make trails successfully, you have to 
uh, follow them on the map. So we're getting off a little bit here. So let me just go as we go up this hill. Let me just move the map over so we can see where we are. So we're going to head down to this little spit of land. We're going pretty much to the northeast right now. We're going to that spit of land right there. We're going to come out on, on around the... Oh, we're, we're going for this meadow right here. So we're going to, um, to go along here through the forest and then back into this meadow. Okay, so... Uh, what did, uh, what do you what can you say about making that trail? Well, it was uh, fun. We saw lots of things and uh, fun. So yeah, lots some beautiful of scenery. <laughs> some and what? the scenery was beautiful. The scenery uh -huh. was pretty. Uh huh. Uh, I think here it makes a turn. There we go. Yes, there's a following the yeah. torches. And it helps when you have two people. It when you're does. setting a trail. Why is that? Because one person can uh, stand at the place where you, you had just left off the trail while the mm -hmm. other person goes and scouts out where mm -hmm. they want to go. Okay, I've, I've lost a torch. Let me go back to the last torch. I'm not really sure where I'm headed. Let's see. I think it should be over here. Here's the torch. Uh, oh, I think I remember it's through here. Yes. Okay. Uh, if you get things overhead, you can just trim them somehow. Sometimes they keep you from moving. So this is the hardest part of the trail. Yeah, Bobby was really useful as a stander. So on the map, I could see where she was standing, and uh, I would go off and um, follow the map and try to work my way back to where she was standing. Okay, I've gone, oh, here's, here's the trail right there, okay. So, uh, since I could see where she was standing on the map, then I could work my way using the map from the last torch, let's say, up to where she was standing and connect parts of the trail and or torches that we'd laid down that way. I don't know if that's a good explanation. Do you think that's a good explanation? I think so. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I know. Oh, here's some sh more sheep. Let's see. We can we can uh, pick up some more wool in case we have to make a bed or something. Okay. Uh, a lot of sheep up here. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry if you're watching this. Some people complain to get, about getting dizzy watching the videos, and that's because I kind of wildly swing the the mouse around uh, while I'm chasing after things. Okay, I didn't, no, I didn't see where my wool went. I guess I got it right away. Okay, so now we're entering a uh, forest with a lot of mushrooms, huge mushrooms growing in it. It's a dark oak forest. There's another sheep. I don't, I think we'll leave that one alone. It's uh, 1500, which means it's getting kind of late. I got the um, I got the wool just in case I need would need to make a bed. There's lots of wood here. There's a lot of trees here. So if you had to, if you had wool and if you have shears so you can shear the sheep um, and you have wool, then with trees you can easily make a bed. And if you make a bed, you can sleep. And sometimes you can make a bed. Um, just lying it on the ground without building a shelter. You can try that, but if it won't let you do that, it will give you a little message that says, you can't sleep here, or you can't sleep now, there are monsters nearby. And if that happens in the middle of a dark forest, then you know you're in trouble. Uh, so you kind of need to make a shelter. Um, let's see, also you should always carry, what Bobby? A sword. A sword. Ah, that's true. Thank you and very carrots. much for reminding me. Where are you now? Let's see if I can go find you. You've you've I wandered a little. Can you go back to the river? I can mm -hmm. see you on the map. I can see where she is on the map. So if you yeah, we're we're coming. We're converging now. 
So I can see where she is. I think and she's down the river. So oh, let's see about where you are. Stop. There you are. I think I see you. Yes, you're right there at the trail, are you? No? I'm on the trail. You're on the trail. Okay, so you can come back the way, reverse the way you're coming. No, you're okay. going the wrong way. No, no, wrong way. Come back the other way. Okay. There she there is. There we are. All right. That's one nice reason, one reason, oh, I just went into the water. One reason you should uh, carry a, uh, you should use the map. So it's also getting sundown now, so we could try that monster trick. Um, we could, let's see, because we otherwise we'll be in danger. Um, so let's come out to this meadow here and just find a place to put a bed. Let's see, I'll, uh, you want to put your bed down, Bobby, and I'll... Put some torches down and torches light kind of helps to ward off monsters. It's kind of like wearing a sheath of garlic around your neck. So if you put a bed down there, are you getting? And uh, she's sleeping. There you go. Okay. Shh. We don't want to disturb her. But anyway, it should soon be morning. And good. So plan B worked. Plan A, I guess actually we. Went to sleep. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to collect the torches that I just laid down. Um, okay, so the ones that are off the trail, retrieve those. I like to carry a lot of torches. You can see I've got 63 torches, so I might have picked up one. Uh, arrows you get from skeletons when you find them in the morning. And we've got some wool. Actually, I actually have some wool, and there's more wool. So yeah, I got a lot of wool, and I've got some planks with me, and sticks, and some coal to make more torches. Okay. So resuming our way, and not forgetting to carry a sword. There um, you. Yeah, I believe she's Bobby's behind me there. Let's check and make sure. Yeah. F five. F5, okay, there we are. Okay, F5, and that's, uh, there we go. So we're gonna follow the torches and the trail we made, and that will take us down to the village. So I'll move the map here so that we can see, uh, as we're going to the village, so the trail was not all that straightforward. It would have been very difficult to make without using a map. There's a nice mushroom. Uh, but with the map you can see where you need to put the trail. Okay, let's see. Here we go. There's a nice place to uh, to stop and move the map. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're very near the village, and that's our place up there. And, okay, back to the game. Okay, so now there's the trail bifurcates here, does it? Yes, it does. Okay, so there's that trail goes up to our house, which is over there in the in the uh, mountains that you can see right there. And this other trail, this way, goes to the village. So we're going to go down there and have a look. And we're 19 minutes into this video. I suppose what I'm trying to do, by the way, is uh, I'm making this video because I'd like to encourage people to come with us because we've been exploring on the server and we um, this is what we do when we're on the server. We can show you this place, or we can show you other things, or we can just help you get started and find the W key and how to move around. So this is the villagers, uh, the villagers trails here. I don't think their trails really go anywhere. We're on the villagers trail now. Let me zoom the map in a little bit so we can see where we are more clearly. Okay, so we're 
in the village. Bobby's going on into the village. And we can uh, we can go have a look at the shipwreck. I, I don't want to go to it, but that's where it is anyway. Okay, so uh, back to the Minecraft now. Okay, so this way, right? Heading for the ocean. The villagers didn't have anything to eat here, so I planted a we planted a garden for them. And um, now there's some carrots there, also useful for anybody who comes here without food. We weren't able to find any food. So I think we left some things in the in this um, in that shipwreck. There was um, oh there's a turtle down there. Okay, went a little fast there. Okay, so there's a turtle. And the shipwreck has a chest inside with, uh, the last time I looked, it had some iron and some emeralds in it. And a map, which uh, we took. And at some point, we're going to go follow that map and see if we can find the treasure. Okay, there's the turtle. Sorry, my mouse. When my mouse moves, my, you know, it sort of jerks. With the, that's the jerky motion is from the mouse. Here's a... Here's a villager. I don't think he has anything. He's not wearing any. He's just saying hi. He doesn't have anything to sell or trade or anything like that. Okay, let's go on up to our shelter, and okay. I'll show you that. Um, we've set a warp to the village. It's warp shipwreck city, and it takes you to the church right there. So if you warp shipwreck city, you'll end up in that church trying to make it easy on people to get around. Okay, so we go back up the path we came. Actually, this is not exactly the path we came. We need to find... Oh, yeah, no, if we go straight here. Here we go. This is the path. Uh, there we go. This is the village path and where it ends here, we pick up our path. Okay, so that's where village path ends, our path begins. It's a good idea to use the path because there's a huge trench in between um, in between our village and here. Let's see if we can see it on the map. There it is. No, that's not it. Um, well, if we follow the, well, you can't see the path either. But anyway, okay, we'll go show it to you on the in real life. So. I'm just getting the map where I can see where we're headed. Okay, so um, continue down this path, and there's the the. Okay, maybe go, I'll I'll stay on the path. It's always a good idea to stay on the path. One one reason to stay on the path is that the path uh, the path went to the back of that trench. Um, little bit there it is there's the trench right there yes this is the deep trench okay so there's a trench separating um, our home and, and the trench goes some distance one way or the other so you could you, either way you have to go around the trench to the left or the right so the path takes you around the trench this direction so if you don't stay on the path you're going to come to the trench and you're going to have to find your way around it anyway so this is to our shelter. That's the way back to uh, Olive Trees Meadow. And our shelter is here. Okay, so uh, it's basically past the pumpkin patch where we live. And uh, Bobby wants to get a fishing rod. Uh, we actually have some and she wants to catch fish and then attract cats. That's what, the reason we chose this place, really. Okay. We have some duck, yeah. ducks. Yeah. Can you feed the ducks? Is oh. it time to feed the ducks? It is. Okay. Do you want to go feed them? Make more ducks? Yeah. We're, we're raising ducks here. Okay. Okay. 
you, you, you're feeding them wheat or wheat seeds? Uh, oh yeah, wheat seeds. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what Bobby does here. Maybe see it better in this this way. Okay. Okay. So there she goes. She's feeding the ducks. She feeds two at a time. And what happens? We get little ducks. Oh, the ducks are starting to okay, step back, Bobby. So we can. Or, yeah, there we go. So we can see what you've produced there. Oh, lots of cute baby ducks. I don't see them. They're, they're over here. Oh, okay. Here, I, I will I'll lure them. Okay, yeah. You see them now? Oh, the cameraman is going off. Not really. <laughs> Maybe I should... Okay, uh, I'll, I'll go out and they'll yeah. probably see the better. Oh, 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 one got out. One. Okay. <laughs> hey, can you see the babies now? Uh, yes, yes, I see the babies. Okay, the baby chicks. Yeah, so we got little chicks. Okay, let me show you what we've done in here. It's my signature house with the typical roof, but this one is kind of embedded halfway in the wall. And let's go upstairs. I kind of thought it might be nice to go up here and make a viewing platform. It's a very picturesque valley, it has uh, waterfalls there. This um, cow took a leap and he's stuck there. So, well, that's his problem. There's nothing going to happen to him, he's just a robot cow. So, um, here I made this to. This is a good time of day to view, isn't it? Sunset. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. You go outside. You know, I think we might end the video here because we're coming on to 26 minutes. But when you come back here, Bobby can show you her llamas. And uh, you get a really nice view here at the right time of day. I don't, I have no idea what's up here. But anyway, it's a, it's a logical place to end the video and the right time. So we come in here, uh, we'll be safe. So this is Teacher Vance and Bobby Bear, and we're uh, in EVO Minecraft MOOC 2021, and we're just showing you, if you join us on the server, some of the things that we do and what we can see. Okay, so I guess I'll say goodnight from here. Well, bye, everybody. Yeah, bye. Bye-bye. See you guys later. Hope you can join us. We're in session now through February 14th. All yep. right. Bye. Yeah, bye-bye.